Hi there guys and welcome to Geek Group. Today, in our long series of taking things apart to see how they work and all that jazz, we have a big high voltage box. We have no idea what this is. I suspect it's a x-ray transformer, um, but I don't know where it came from. It came in as an anonymous donation. It's obviously got big high voltage federal connectors on the top. It's a big heavy tank, which is obviously full of oil. And it has this really nifty thing on top. I have no idea what this is. But uh, I'll let Mikey zoom in on a second. I'll hold it really still. So take, take a look at that. It's some manner of semiconductor, but I don't know what. It's, uh, it's got color bands on it, which I'm guessing are a rating. It's got two connectors, and they go to a little bridgey thing on top and bottom. It could be a capacitor. It could be a metal oxide varistor. I have absolutely no idea. If you know what this is, write in, because I want to know. Um, but yeah, we're going to take apart this big box. And I'm just, I'll, I'll put this up here on the wall next to York. So, yeah. Um, but we're going to take this apart, and together we will learn what it is, and I'll do what I can to explain the parts as I know them. And any that I don't know, um, I'll tell you, and you guys can just write in and say, hey, this is what that is, and, and we'll have fun, because this is, this is what we do here. It's cool. Um, this is a pretty boring part, so we'll just, we'll just speed up here, okay? We'll, you know what we need? We need some nifty old time, like ragtime jazz type music. We'll put some of that right here, and uh, we'll just speed this up really, really fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we're we're gonna start the montage now. You guys just watch. Okay, you ready? And now we're back. Okay, so that's how you get that off. Now we have to figure out how to open it. Um, traditionally with transformers, there's some lifting eyes on the top to get it open. Now let's see if this actually has a weight. No, that's way too light. If I can lift it like that, it's not anchored to the top. So this should be pretty easy to open. And I don't know if it's a transformer or not. So it's kind of weird. I want to pick up all the bolts because you, you want to, when you're working on high voltage stuff, it's important to not leave any loose bits of metal on top that could fall inside because that will screw up your whole day. Because inside this oil tank, the, the reason they fill it with oil is the oil is an insulator and it's a much better insulator than air. So the, if this was just air, it'd be like five times as big. So I need a little container to put nuts and bolts in. I'll just use the whiteboard for now. There. Okay, and uh, I'll set that there, and I'll set this here. I don't need my cell phone anyway. So let's get a look in here and see what we can see. Oh, this is going to suck. Um, ah, that old familiar smell, mineral oil. If you're working on a general electric transformer, which this is, or actually this is a uh, Philips Medical Systems, um, the same rules apply. If you're working on a Philips Medical Systems or a General Electric Transformer, you don't have to worry about PCBs if it's a medical class transformer because neither of those companies has ever used polychlorinated biphenyls in their oils in medical grade transformers. This is going to be particularly difficult to lift up. It's, there's a lot of connections under here and I need to break these. I need to hold this up. Um, get a forklift over here. That'll work. We'll be right back after this brief moment of Mikey getting the forklift. Come up. Okay, now you're going to want to bring, uh, you're going to want to back up a little bit. Just back straight up. Stop there. Um, Mark, come here, give me a hand. I'm going to have you hold these two sides. Okay, out here. I'll take that side because it's a little dangerous there. All right, Mikey, forks down a bit.
Keep coming. That corner doesn't want to lift at all, does it? It's like there's something holding it. It's got to be a ground wire or something. Um, Mikey, come down a hair. Just come down until I tell you to stop. Stop. Yeah, I, I've got something holding it. Um, Hang on a second, Mike. Lift your front up. Out? Up. Just lift up as high as you can. Not you. Stop there. Mara, lift up. Lift, lift, lift. All right, Mikey, you're going to have to come over here and muscle this because i got to find out what it is got to disconnect. It's one of these big wires. Push that up hard. It's that ground one right there, I think. Is that the one that goes to the other side? It could be... Yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. Um, here, give me a second. Try it. Doesn't really help a whole lot, does it? Um, it's one of those. It's going to be one of the big ones here. I don't want to just disconnect those. That'll suck. There's really no way around it, is there? Are they going to have a flat white screwdriver? Um, hang on. Let me think. goes to a big bundle down to the core. I don't want to put my arm in it. No, you don't. Um, <laughs> but if you think we make it through this whole process without somebody being arm deep in oil, <laughs> i got news for you. Um, <laughs> hey, Mr. Host. <laughs> All right, Mara, I need a big pair of dikes. Not fancy, can if I were you, I'd take off any watches or jewelry. All right, so we take off the caps. We don't need those. Um, we're figuring out, we, we've got the top off, and Mara's got tools. Those are not dikes, but OK. These are dikes. These are, these are big dikes. OK, Mike, lift. You lift, and I'll cut the wires so we can lift off the top. Actually, I kind of like it, but I spent a lot of time with my head in a tank of high voltage oil, so. It's mineral oil. It's totally safe. In fact, not only can you eat it, you can buy it specifically for the purpose of eating castor oil. Yeah, I didn't get the last one there. It's a, it's a laxative. Oh, that made a difference. Okay. Um, uh, come back here and see if you can lift that up. I got schmutz. Can you set anything? Uh, no, you still got a few more connections. Yeah, I know. We'll get to those. Oh, we can get it. Yeah, the, okay. We can get it up onto the forks. Okay, cool. Um, you and Mara want to take your positions? Um, I'll just stay here. Okay, yeah, slide it forward a little bit. Nice and gentle. Put it forward. Forward? Now come forward. Stop. Come on up a little bit. Gently, up a little more. Stop, oh, go up a little more. Stop, hey Mike, yeah. all those wires disconnected themselves for us. Good. Isn't that nice of them? Come up a little. Stop. Okay, that's a plug. That's a plug. Come right on up. How cool is that? All right, stop. Hold your position there. Um, all right.